What's going on everybody? It's your boy Accord Racer back again in another YouTube video for your viewing enjoyment. Been a while since I got behind the mic and it, uh, it's feeling actually really good. Sitting back behind here, making a vid, background, Black Ops 3 beta gameplay and we have a 40 kill domination rolling with my boy Quick and some others and... I'm just gonna shoot the shit. I've been kind of. I, I haven't been making vids. Um, I really haven't seen any point. This is a kind of like a dead time for everything on YouTube. It seems like you can't find unless you get early access gameplay. Is the new thing now? Have you noticed that? There's big YouTubers out there who have, you can tell they have PR people. They have early access to Halo, early access to Assassin's Creed. They had early access to NBA 2K16. I guarantee you they're gonna have early access to Black Ops 3. What else is coming out? Any of those big games, big AAA titles that are coming out for Christmas and and the fourth quarter of shopping. I guarantee you're gonna see a ton of early access gameplay. Now, JD was on Twitter the other day going off talking about how WWE 2K16 or whatever this year's is, uh, people are posting early access gameplay already about it. And it seems like they're doing the, the Stone Cold story, they're doing a whole whack of shit. And he went off talking about how this is ruining the smaller guys. This is, you know, he can't do his thing. And he's, he's right. He's true. You, you can't, if you're trying to come up, it seems like, to try and compete with posting good gameplay, good commentaries, good anything, and you're small or considered a small channel, it's not going to help because, or you're not going to get any help because these bigger guys get the early access stuff now. It seems like that's what the new thing is. That's the new marketing thing, getting people early access to the game. Now, I'm not hurting on the big guys. They, they did their thing, and they got big however they got big, and that's good on them. They're turning it into a business. This is basically what everybody on here is trying to do is turn it into a business. They've become marketing uh, people, they've become marketing firms, they've become their own private marketing company, really. And good on them. Good on them. Having done it and everything, I have no ill will to anybody who can turn playing a video game and sitting behind a mic. Turn that into a business. I can't. You can't fault anybody for that. But it does raise a little bit of uh, a quandrum I think or whatever the hell the fucking word is I can't think of it now you watch this early access gameplay now I've watched there's I think I found two or three guys uploading Assassin's Creed Syndicate early access gameplay now today is the 21st and the game comes out I think this Friday um what is this Friday? The 23rd. So, <clears throat> they're getting early access gameplay. So now they're posting Let's Plays of the game. This is what they've been told to do. This is what they're doing. They're posting early access gameplay and they're posted Let's Plays. Now, I have only seen three parts. Now, I, the only person I'm watching is Chris Smooth. Chris Smooth, I think his Let's Plays are fantastic. The way he does it, the way he integrates the 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 clips and everything together I think he does a really good job of how he does it so I've been watching his and he's only posted three clips as of recording this he hasn't you know filled out or gone on and played the entire story because usually what happens is you're posting you know pretty much the, the entire game within the first week week and a half and he hasn't done that. Now, is it because 
you can't. They put a restriction. Or he's just not putting it up. My thing is, this is going to start ruining Let's Plays or the stories of the games. I think if you want to go with early access stuff, the only way this is going to work, and I know it's going to be hard because there's not going to be a lot of people doing it, but you can only do it with multiplayer stuff. Having single player campaign Let's Played on YouTube, you know, a week in advance, it's going to ruin the story because you have now, if let's say you're watching Chris Smooth, you've seen the first two parts of the story and you're not... You know, when you get the game, you're just going to whiz through it. Because you've already seen it, you've already watched it, you've already seen him do it. You already know what's happening in the story. You know who the two characters are. You know all that kind of stuff. So, I think companies just have to be very, very careful with how they're doing it. I think Black Ops, with the beta, was a success. I think people kind of got on the board, unless you have an Xbox One. People got on board and started liking it, loving it. And people are going to get it. I am certainly getting it. Um, I'm getting the digital copy from the PlayStation Store uh, because I very, very rarely trade in uh, Call of Duty games. I think the only one I've ever traded in is World at War, and uh, that's the only one I've ever gotten rid of. Uh, I would have, I would have gotten rid of Advanced Warfare if I didn't get it on digital because I didn't think it was going to be as bad as Ghosts. Speaking of Ghosts, I'm going to have some Ghost gameplay next week. And I got some Advanced Warfare stuff coming up. I've uh, got some clips coming up as well. In the next couple of days, it's in like a little 40-second video of just me running around, dominating, and then getting shit on in uh, typical Call of Duty fashion. Anyway, till next time, she's been your boy, Record Racer. Hope you're having a good one. Till next time, peace!